In today's tutorial, we are going to explain and implement a widely used technique by companies called customer segmentation. We are going to cover its definition, why segment customers in the first place, types of customer segmentation, and why using machine learning in customer segmentation, and an example using Python. Customer segmentation is the practice of dividing a customer base into groups of individuals. Those groups are similar in specific ways, such as age, gender, interests, and habits. Why we need to segment customers? We can learn about our customers and their specific needs. We can create target campaigns and products for each segment. We can improve customer support by understanding their challenges and also increase the customer loyalty and identify valuable customers and new opportunities for products and services. There are five types of customer segmentation. The first one is the behavioral segmentation, such as buying patterns, quantity, and the quality of the products. The second one is the psychographic segmentation, such as customer lifestyle, beliefs, opinions. The third one is geographic segmentation, such as the country, the state, and the city. The fourth one is demographic segmentation, such as the gender, the age, occupation, and the marital status. And the last one is the value-based segmentation, which is based on the revenue the customers generate. We use machine learning in customer segmentations for diverse reasons. The first one is those machine learning models can process the, those data, the customer data, and discover recurring patterns across various features. In many cases, those algorithms can help marketing analysts find customer segments that would be very difficult to spot through intuition or manual examination of data. The second one is instead of manually analyzing large amounts of data to look for patterns, you can simply allow the ML model or program to do the task for you. The third one is those uh, models can find hidden patterns a human marketer may not see. The last one is machine learning can automatically update your segments. Many clustering techniques are used in customer segmentation. In this example, I selected three of them. Those algorithms are considered neighbors because they are based on the same logic. The first one is k-means. The second is k-modes. The third one is k-prototypes. The difference is that k-means used numerical data, k-modes used categorical data, and k-prototypes used mixed data between categorical data and numerical data. And this algorithm is the one that we are going to use in our example. The first step in our project is to prepare and understand the data. The second one is to find the number of clusters using the k-prototypes algorithm. And the last one is plotting the clusters. The first step, we are going to import the necessary libraries. Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, KNN Imputer, PCA, and Label Encoder. Next, we are going to import the data and delete two columns that we are not going to need in this example. So here we visualize the uh, top of our data set. We are going to check if the data set has any missing values. So as you see, there is missing values on the columns. We want also to check if there is any outliers in uh, our data set. All the data are normal, so there is no outliers. The next step, we are going to handle and impute the missing values in our columns. But before this, we should transform the categorical labels to numerical labels. We are going to use KNN algorithm to handle the missing values on both the categorical and the numerical labels. 
using the KNN imputer function. Here we are going to use the PCA to transform our data to use it later to visualize the clusters. Next, we are going to decode the categorical data that we transformed into numerical uh, data before. Because the algorithm of K prototypes that we are going to use handles the raw categorical data, unlike other algorithms that only accepts numerical data. As you see now, our dataset has no missing values and it's a mix of categorical and numerical data. To use the key prototype algorithm, we should get the position of all the categorical columns. Also, we need to convert our dataset to a matrix. So now let's jump to the clustering operation. First, we are going to use the elbow method to detect the number of K. We are going to use nine iteration. In each iteration, we are going to use K from one to nine and can calculate the cost function. Now we are going to plot the elbow graph in this graph, we should detect the elbow value. We can use a method called the knee locator because it detects the elbow if the curve is convex. So here you see as a result, it detects that the elbow at key equal three clusters. So the number of clusters in this data set is three. We are going to train our model, the key prototype algorithm, on three clusters. We can visualize each cluster with a different color by using the scatter function. Let's do a quick analysis on the clusters. When it comes to volume, we see that the cluster number one has the bigger volume next the cluster number two and the least one is the, the cluster number zero now let's jump to analyze each cluster individually we see that the clusters are distinguishable by two main features the first one is the age because for the cluster number zero we see that the mean age is 70 for the cluster number two is 45 for the cluster number, uh, sorry, for the cluster number one is 45, and for the cluster number two is 27. For the categorical columns, we see that for the cluster number zero, the main profession of its customers is lawyers. The second cluster is artists, and the third one are in the healthcare field. You can find the code of this example in the description.